Okay, so I believe uh, we could do this other contract. I'm tempted because it's uh, sort of not an easy one, the sun synchronous one. We need the we need the reputation, but I think our reputation will be more boosted by the fact that we complete the program. I don't know. Uh, does the completing the program actually give us reputation? Or should we get reputation by doing this other bit? This optional one. Well, we've got the contract. I guess we'll try it. 0 0.02 and 0 0.04 are, is finicky. Oh, and I guess we can switch to early avionics too. Okay, but we do have the plane done. The drone plane of much rocketness. So let's time warp to morning. And see if we can do a drone plane with rocket sort of thing. Exper experimental rocket plane. Of course, we're not actually going to fulfill this. We need to get to 20 kilometers and let's say Mach 2. Okay. Uh-oh. The center of mass. I, I checked the landing gear, but apparently it's like this. I mean, the center mass is definitely forward of the main landing gear, but okay. Put too far back and it won't be able to rotate properly. The probe core is actually heavier than the cockpit, I think, so... Should be a good test if we can get to where we're going with the probe core. Okay. So the rocket engine has an initial thrust weight ratio of 0.96. It does throttle, but we could probably do with all 0.96 initially. Okay and slightly less than three minutes of burn time to get to where we're going. So, without further ado... I don't want to break the landing gear, so there's that. Ooh! I don't want to do airdrop unless I build the plane that does the airdrop. Well, I've made a B-52 model. I could just make it RP-1 compatible. I'm sure I could come up with realistic pricing and everything. But to be honest, this is best. I mean, for somebody who can actually do this sort of thing. Looks good. I can relight this sucker, right? Nobody said it wasn't scary, but so is an X-15 ride. I really need the air brake again. I mean, this is just really pushing it. I don't have to do it this way. I have the parachutes.
It's not an angle I want. What were the G's? 5.8 only. I mean, didn't have to pull 5.8 G's. I could do much less than 5.8 G's. We could do this with less than 5.8 G's. But it's nerve-wracking. It's nerve-wracking to do it with a Kerbal. And I'm much more relaxed doing it with a probe cord than doing it with a Kerbal. We have fuel to spare, by the way. But, okay. Recover vessel. I guess we should recover the SPH and then just put the cockpit on. I don't know if it's going to be beneficial or not. I think there's supposed to be a X2 sort of upgrade for this thing. I don't know about it though. Let me just see. Mass wise. Oh, this was actually lighter than the cockpit. Huh. I mean, that looks like it's just 45 kilograms, but I guess it's got other stuff in. Well, we did have extra fuel, so it shouldn't be a problem. I'll just put the under the body air brake again and limit it. That blocked the hatch. I don't even know if that's going to cause a problem or not, but the ejection, in theory, uh, this says it can't, the cribbles can't EVA from it. So it says this part doesn't allow EVA. I mean, I don't, I must be, I don't understand how this mass could be 0.045 tons and then it ends up being 0.351. Oh, by the way, uh, it says it's unpressurized and will lead to crew death above 30 kilometers. Bonanza cabin was unpressurized and that was like up till 10. Oh, it says 20. Oh, no. Can still exit when land or earth are flying low. Oh, okay. Huh. Mm, but yeah, uh, 16 kilometers for this one. But then it had warnings at 12 kilometers. It's not allowing EVA, it's just a space thing apparently. Uh, it says it can exit when flying low. Okay, well I'm gonna have the effective eject button right there. I'll be like Pete Conrad with my finger on the eject button. <laughs> Okay. Right, I'll just leave it there. Throttle up. And... Here we go. I don't really need the clouds here. Really could do without the clouds right now. Okay. Now at least we have a radar altimeter. Jeez.
Okay. We did it. All right. Recover. She should get as much rest as she needs. That's recovering. And but we're now interested in rockets again. So the SSO rocket, it's a long shot because we can't really see our inclination and stuff like that properly. When we get the Mechjeb information, that's what I want to know. When when can I legitimately see my inclination and my eccentricity in, the, in not even Mechjeb, in the little display in the corner? Oh, upgrade the tracking station? Is that it? 50,000. It doesn't... Oh, it requires Lunar Rage communication. Well, we'll try it blind. But then we'll, we'll try and get the science, I guess. Um, I wanted to get a launch azimuth calculator. Launch azimuth calculator. Vaguely remember the equation, but might as well just get it. Okay, launch site latitude. Five, we're at Kuru. 187. K. We'll go one, uh, or negative seven. So that'll be 150, uh, 353. So we'll go 353. I'm going for an orbital eccentricity calculator. Orbital eccentricity calculator. So 353 and not AU. <laughs> um, I'll see if I do meters, I'm gonna have to add the diameter of the earth or radius of the earth. So 6678 is what we're looking for as far as 1M, 6678, 6681. So it's actually not that much. Uh, 0.02 to 0.04 is practically circular, just a little bit off. It's got to be tough to hit that with the little Araby stage. Should have added some RCS, but then we'd need a control core. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just do it prospectively. It depends. Uh, it's the, the, the world is a little bit more squished at the poles than at the equator. So it's not an even radius, but yeah. Okay, throttle up. And let's just tell this to go 353 initially. Okay. And SAS on. We haven't executed that. All right, so we're trying for the sun synchronous orbit satellite, but we probably won't make it. Ignition. And launch. Okay. And ignition. Okay, I don't know, I suppose. Oh, I went awry. I should have done the decoupling as at the same time as the firing. Yeah, it'll just dispose of itself. Oh, but I got the right inclination. <laughs> Heading is good. Heading is fine. But we'll probably need a better rocket for the eccentricity. Um, should we have that contract hanging out, or should I just move on from it? We could just complete this program. I feel like the longer we let the program linger, the worse our reputation is going to get. Oh, what, what's the next uh, science that we can do with planes? We've finished up all the Mach 2. Mach 2 flight, high altitude. This says minimum surface speed 650. But it says high altitude, so it has to be flying high, and that's 30 kilometers. So we'd need the X2 cockpit for that. 
Where is the little X2 upgrade? It was back here. Oh, I have to purchase it. Um, it gets us to 75 kilometers, potentially. Coming back down from 30 kilometers with the rocket... Well, it won't matter. We can have the jet engine. We don't have to have the rocket engine only. So, you're our next two cockpit, right? Oh, wow. It's uh, Now it's reading the right mass. It used to say 45 kilograms. Now it's uh, 367, which is more or less what it actually is. Maybe it's the upgrade that caused the discrepancy. Uh, well, it says 75 kilometers, so... Okay. Balance is probably different. But we're gonna put an extra rocket engine in the tail, so... It probably will work out in the end. Uh, cut that out. We can tilt this right. Oops. Alright, now we have to adjust the fuel. At least that engine doesn't require a high pressure tank. Drop tanks? Or should I just make... If I make this thicker, is it going to be able to carry more fuel? Two. Oh yeah! Whoa, that's not the two I want. I want point two. But yes, it does increase how much we get, get to carry. Not that much more fuel. How much is in the jet engines? Eight minutes. Maybe let's increase the size of the body at the tail. Okay, that's not bad. Um, let's just get the kerosene out. That should move it forward, so yep, no problems. We really have to be careful not to scrape this off. <laughs> Uh, it slopes back up here, and then this bit doesn't make me happy. I'm doing very well. X2000. <laughs> I don't know. Usually it is uh, enable crossfeed on the decoupler as an option. Um... It's possible that we don't have any crossfeed at all. And we can't use drop tanks. Toggles and editor. Let me see. Uh, okay. Crossfeed, toggles, and editor and in flight requires space planes era material science. Default off. I guess we can't do drop tanks. Shall we do wing tanks instead and just leave them on? I guess. Oh, that's a desperation move right there. 15 minutes with the jet engine and then the rocket engine. It only gives us 0.7 more. But that's when we're fully fueled. We're probably going to be not quite as fueled by the time we get to Mach 2. But this has got to be tough. 30 kilometers and holding that speed. It'll be interesting. I don't know. This is not a good way to get research, to be honest. We should be doing other stuff. Let's see. Still gotta take some time. This one wants 40 kilometers. Crew member. Oh, this doesn't. Uh, this doesn't care whether we've got rocket engines or not. Uh, rocket and jet mix. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so these will. These are nicer. Okay, actually we can aim for this instead. Fly by wire, throttle <laughs> up, and jet engines. Okay, I think we're going to have the rocket engine help.
Do I just let the jet engines choke or do I turn them off? Oh, they gotta overheat, I guess. Not a lot of air up here to maneuver with. So, do we get that? Yeah, okay. We just want to maintain 650 for the high altitude flight. We've run out of the rocket fuel. Uh, that's a bit fast. But... I, I don't have control right now. Um... I can pitch down, but I can't pull up very well. Um, it's not responding to my pitch. Okay. <gasps> oh, 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 I didn't want to do that. Okay, oh, I wanted to fly by wire though. But the fly by wire was not responding to my pitch. Okay, now it is. I just had to reset it. Shoot. Um, Alright. I think we'll just take whatever we, whatever we got there. To be honest, I could probably have it deploy much more than right now. The limit was just for when we're on the ground. Any higher and we need RCS. We'll need to have some way of controlling it with the air thin. Gear down, and we got to reduce the authority. Uh, I could probably go more than that. Oh, my throttle is. Why did they go at different times? Oh fudge. Uh why 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 did they go at different times? That's not right. I just took the drag shoots off and put them back on. But then they decided to go at different times there, and they were different sizes. That's not good. Anyway, we survived this time despite that. We got to 40 kilometers. Six days to bring it back in. We only got 0.2 of the high altitude flight data, but we didn't like spend a lot of time there. Okay. You know what? Um, as far as the early satellite one, I give up on this one. Let's just not labor that. Let's complete that program. All right, sorry for being late, program. Yes. Well, we didn't get any boost to our reputation, but at least we will get it. early lunar probes. I definitely know I want to do. We don't want it fast. I don't do anything fast. Um. <laughs> okay, lunar flyby. Uh, peep, uh, horrible on the funding, but uh, people said that this is a trap and I probably wouldn't pick it up anyway because it really doesn't pay much. This doesn't pay much either. This is clearly what we need. We just need to get the science to do it. Let's think about Lunar. We've only got 3.6 science, so we can't really get anything new. Agena and Gamma 2 are here. Gamma 2 is probably what we want as Europeans and everything to replace the Veronique. 
We 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 really just need, but we need lunar range communication, right? I think we'll do another one of those suborbital rockets that collects um, film camera data, but we'll launch it directly over the KSC because this is shores. We haven't done shores, amazingly enough. Okay, ignition and launch. Well, we can see the biome from here, too. Oh, we've got reduced something. Thrust. Uh, that might not be the worst thing. We'll get some extra flying high that way, I believe. Oh, now it doesn't show me the biome, though. <laughs> I guess we'll just have to eyeball it. We're getting a little bit high. We're, oh, we're pretty much ended anyway. Feel down. No, let's arm the parachute. Oh, 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 see, we went further away. Whoops. Oh, no, we did all it. Is it? No, then we went to a different biome. Shoot. Oh, well, we'll have to wait on the, until we're on the way down then. Uh, we should have shaded it a little bit closer to the water. Maybe, yeah, shading a little bit north would be better. Uh, there we go. Oh, that's not the way I thought it was going. Okay. Um, I don't know if we're going to get it or not. Okay, now it's running. Okay, that worked. For a little bit. Ah, uh, only a little bit. Shoot. Oh, uh, over water did we not get... Uh... Yeah, well, I mean, it's tough to get the flying high anyway. So got three shores and lots of flying high things. Maybe you should have a film camera plane. Oh, that's a little bit fast. Uh, oh. <laughs> we should just have a TV camera. Well, with that, I'll look to getting signs from high Earth orbit in the next episode. And for now, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.